Not to worry, this was a training exercise in Mayville Monday evening. It was organized by Trail County Sheriff Steve Hunt and included Steele County. It was an effort to make sure some 100 first responders know what to do in the event of a disaster. It's been a while since we've done a real big one like this and, and have this many players involved. Absolutely. And that's kind Go of ahead. the key, isn't it? Figure out how do you Point. put Point. all these uh, all these first responders in the best use. It's not a thing you can just snap your fingers and make happen. Absolutely not. It, it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of practice, and and uh, you got to learn who your people are and how to use the you resources that you have. The scenario for this exercise is that a suspect or suspects uh, ran into a classroom here at Mayville State and threw a uh, liquid chemical pesticide, which turns to gas, injuring several students, then took off in a vehicle hitting more students with a car. It's uh, training exercises like this one that are organized by Derek Hansen of Heartland Consulting. Our company does emergency preparedness, safety, and homeland security. So we do, we do training, we do exercises, we write plans, do actual responses like on different mm -hmm. um, train derailments and different things. Um, and this group here is doing a hazardous material exercise. We were told that liquid gas was thrown. Has that problem been taken care of? That liquid gas was thrown by suspects. Has that problem been taken care of? Or is that spreading it further around campus and into the community? Now, as part of the exercise, it was my job to pepper the public information officers with questions, giving them experience in front of reporters and cameras in quickly getting out information to the public. Well, if you don't know, is there a danger to the surrounding community? Should they be evacuating? Do you guys have a social media page, or Twitter or Facebook, that you'll be updating as this goes on? We will as information becomes available. Okay. I don't know how long you want me to bug you. I can oh, for a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, a light moment in the very serious business of making sure first responders are organized and ready to do their jobs in rural areas. In Mayville, North Dakota, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.